The wild animal trade and live animal markets have been in the spotlight recently. These animals, we don't know their history. We don't know what kind of pathogens or viruses that they are having. After they were linked to the coronavirus outbreak, many celebrities, politicians, influencers, and members of the public have campaigned to close down live animal markets for good. The first cases of coronavirus were linked to the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in Wuhan, China. Most wet markets in Asia sell fruit, vegetables, herbs, spices, and fresh meat, but this particular market had a separate section for live and slaughtered wild animals. That rightfully the Chinese authorities reported uh, to the World Health Organization and the World Organization for Animal Health that they believe the origins of COVID-19 came from what we call a wildlife wet market. In response to the outbreak, China announced a ban on the sale of wild animals. But live animal markets aren't exclusive to China. Wildlife is traded for consumption in many other Asian countries, as well as the United States, South America, across Europe and in Africa. As the current pandemic shows, the trade is dangerous. Animals can transfer diseases to humans. These are called zoonotic diseases. Experts believe bats are the most likely primary host for the coronavirus. It could have been transferred to humans via another intermediate animal host, potentially a pangolin, although this is not confirmed. To try and prevent future pandemics, the World Health Organization has urged governments to rigorously enforce bans on the trade of wildlife for food. As long as people eat meat, um, there is going to be uh, some risk of uh, infection. These celebrities want to see an end to wild animal markets and the wildlife trade for good. Number 1. Dr. Jane Goodall World-renowned primatologist Dr. Jane Goodall believes that disrespect for animals caused the coronavirus outbreak. She recently told Agence France Press, It is our disregard for nature and our disrespect of the animals we should share the planet with that has caused this pandemic. That was predicted long ago. There is one silver lining to this dark cloud. This pandemic has reopened discussions about the danger of the hunting, trafficking and eating of wild animals. COVID-19 is one of those viruses that have crossed the species barrier and jumped from animals to humans. I just hope that when this is over, we're wiser. And I hope that the Chinese ban on the wet markets will A, be made permanent and B, extend to the use of wild animals for medicine, like pangolin scales, bear bile, uh, and so on. Goodall acknowledged that bans in some African countries, for example, could impact those who rely on wild animal meat for their livelihoods. She said, What we can do in our individual lives does depend a little bit on who we are, but we all can make a difference. Everybody can. The world's only come, going to come right when every day is an Earth Day, because we're part of the natural world, we depend on it. Number 2. Ricky Gervais British comedian Ricky Gervais recently told The Mirror that live animal markets have to close. He said, For the sake of people and animals, wildlife trade and consumption has to end. Now. We can't carry on exploiting animals, eating wildlife and trashing the planet. The wildlife trade and markets have to close. Otherwise it will be a case of when and not if we have another global pandemic. You know what? It's not the first time a terrible disease has started because of people eating things they shouldn't. I mean, this one comes from eating pangolins. Pangolins, stop eating everything that moves. It's gonna kill us all. Number three, Sir Paul McCartney. Sir Paul McCartney recently spoke out against China's live animal markets. The former Beatle, Meat Free Monday co-founder and animal rights activist criticized live animal markets during a Sirius XM interview with radio host Howard Stern. It's a little bit medieval eating bats. Seems like, you know, SARS and avian flu and all sorts of other stuff that's afflicted us. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I really hope that this will mean that the Chinese government, like who you say, they've got power. It's right. not like they're, they're powerless, you know. Um, let's hope that they will say, okay, guys, we've really got to get super hygienic around here, you know. Number four. Brian May. Queen guitarist Brian May believes that people just need to stop eating meat altogether. He suggested that a vegan future is the only way forward following the pandemic. He told NME, If you want to get deep into it, I think we should be looking again at whether we should be eating animals. That's a central issue here. This pandemic seemed to come from people eating animals. And it's becoming more well known that eating animals is not the greatest thing for our health. 
and we are farming creatures for our own benefits without any regard for their welfare whatsoever. It's vital at this pivotal point that we don't try and go back to the way things were before. This is, to me, a golden opportunity and a vitally necessary opportunity to change things and go forward to a different world which is more considerate, more compassionate and in taking care of the environment takes care of us as well. Number five, Courtney Cox. Friends star Courtney Cox recently took to Instagram to blame the illegal wildlife trade for causing pandemics. She wrote, By protecting our natural ecosystems, we can stop the illegal wildlife trade which has caused the deadliest diseases of our lifetimes, including HIV, SARS, and COVID-19. In the same post, she urged her followers to support Space for Giants, an international conservation organization that works to protect African wildlife landscapes for vulnerable elephants. Number 6. Senator Cory Booker 66 U.S. lawmakers, including New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, have demanded a global ban on live animal markets to prevent future pandemics. The group wrote a letter to the Directors General of the World Health Organization, the World Organization for Animal Health, and the United Nations urging them to take aggressive action toward a global ban on live animal markets. The letter reads, As this pandemic continues to threaten the lives of millions, pushes healthcare systems to the breaking point, and devastates economies around the world, it is imperative that we all take action as a global community to protect public health. Number 7. Leonardo DiCaprio Academy Award-winning actor Leonardo DiCaprio took to social media to call for an end to illegal wildlife trafficking. He shared a petition called the Declaration to End the Trade on Instagram. The declaration is a call from Global Wildlife Conservation, the Wildlife Conservation Society, and WildAid to end the global wildlife trade. He captioned the post, Your voice matters, and together we can show governments that public opinion around this issue is strong. This is among the most important decisions that the world community can make today to prevent another pathogen from jumping from animals to humans and spreading around the world. Number 8. Philip Schofield On a recent episode of ITV's This Morning, Philip Schofield said that wildlife animal markets should be shut down. Together with co-presenter Holly Willoughby, he was interviewing wildlife expert Chris Packham. Schofield said, Nothing really galvanizes the world more than money. If we are to believe this virus originated in one of these exotic markets in Wuhan, it shut down the world. That's a massive responsibility on the world and China and other areas that have these markets. Number 9. Chris Packham During his This Morning appearance, TV presenter and naturalist Chris Packham spoke about the endangered pangolin and the threat that the wildlife trade poses to a number of animals. He said, Many of the species that you're talking about are being illegally transported around the world. Many of them, very sadly, because the trade has persisted for so long, have become endangered. He recently signed an open letter from the Born Free Foundation calling for the end to live animal markets. The letter stated, The trade in wildlife not only threatens human health, it is also a major contributor to the global decline in wildlife and biodiversity. Number 10. Peter Egan British actor Peter Egan also shared the declaration to end the trade on Twitter. This pandemic is the consequence of our persistent and excessive intrusion in nature and the vast illegal wildlife trade, in particular the wildlife markets. It was just a matter of time before something like this was going to happen. Number 11. Brian Adams Canadian musician Brian Adams asked his social media followers to tell everyone they have ever met to help end the wildlife trade. Sharing the declaration to end the trade, he said, Please sign this petition calling for an end to the global wildlife trade, once and for all, and please tell everyone you have ever met to do the same. Shortly after, he tweeted a Guardian article titled, We did it to ourselves. He captioned it, I say go vegan for the planet. Number 12. Carrie Simmons Carrie Simmons, who works as a senior advisor to the ocean conservation nonprofit Oceana and is engaged to UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, also shared the declaration to end the trade on Twitter. She added, This crisis gives us the chance to start doing things better. Let this be one of those things. Number 13. Lucy Watson British entrepreneur and reality TV personality Lucy Watson tweeted a petition to end live animal markets in March. She captioned the post, Live animal markets are back up and running in China as if nothing ever happened. What is the point in all of this if we don't learn something and make positive changes? You can help end this. Please sign the petition. Number 14. Bill Maher 
on a recent episode of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. The talk show host said he had received bipartisan praise for critiquing the Chinese government's decision to open wet markets. He then turned his attention to U.S. industrial animal agriculture. Americans should not get too high and mighty about wet markets while we are doing this. To thwart the coronavirus, we've been told to create distance, avoid others who are sick, lower stress, and exercise. Are you surprised that diseases flourish among animals when they're forced to live in conditions that are the complete opposite of all of that? They're on top of each other, they can't move, they're stressed out. I've seen airports treat luggage better than we treat animals. Number 15 and 16, Joaquin Phoenix and Rooney Mara. Academy Award-winning actor Joaquin Phoenix and his fiance, actor and activist Rooney Mara, recently spoke out about the dangers of factory farming and live animal markets. The pair penned an op-ed for the Washington Post, where they called live animal markets the perfect environment for zoonotic diseases to leap from an infected creature to a human. People are not in a panic in the way that they should be. Like, these are very dire times. Um, and so I felt like I had to do something. But China is hardly the only country where live animal markets and other squalid operations are common. Some 80% of them operate within the five boroughs of New York City alone, according to Slaughter Free NYC, a nonprofit group that opposes them. They are near residences, schools, and public parks. They also referred to the threat of concentrated animal feeding operations in the United States. They wrote, these factory farms warehouse thousands of animals that wallow in their own waste with limited or no airspace, routinely creating conditions for the proliferation of superbugs and zoonotic pathogens. Number 17, Edie Falco. Actor and activist Edie Falco recently wrote a letter to New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio asking him to shut down live animal markets in the city. She wrote, you're uniquely positioned to help stop future pandemics and set an example for other leaders by closing the city's live animal markets immediately. That step could be pivotal in stopping other deadly viruses from ever jumping to humans. What do you think? Will we see a global ban on live animal markets implemented? Should factory farms be shut down too? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.